Hi, welcome to my channel. My name is Angela. Please remember to like, subscribe, and share. Before I get started, I want to go over my disclaimers. If you are in immediate danger, please call 911 or you can reach out to the domestic hotline at 800-799-SAFE, 800-799-7233. And for mental health resources, reach out to NAMI at 800-950-NAMI. 800-950-6264 and you can also text at 741741. With that being said, please remember to like, subscribe, and share. So happy Monday. I hope everyone had a wonderful weekend, uh, didn't stress too much, and gotten things taken care of. Uh, we got snow for the weekend. It was really pretty, so I didn't have to get out in it, but we did get a little snow. And um, so today I just kind of want to do a recap uh, of some things that may be going on in your life, uh, trying to leave a narcissist or still in a relationship with the narcissist and trying to get out of it. Um, I wrote down a few things and I know recently, maybe about a month ago, that I talked about uh, how the narcissist feel when things are coming uh, when they're falling apart, uh, there's a few titles of uh, previous videos was the narcissist running out of time, uh, they're coming undone, and the meltdown. So now, you know, one thing you can bank on with a narcissist, they do the same thing. There's nothing different about them. Um, they do the same thing over and over. So you can pretty much gauge how they're going to react to certain things because you should be a pro now. You've been in this relationship for however long you've been in it. And so you know all the signs. You know all the triggers. You know exactly how they react. So I just wanted to say that um, continue to uh, be vigilant and being safe and protecting your space, protecting your uh, physical space and everything. You know, if you're still in this relationship and you almost uh, are out of it just continue to be safe and today i just want to talk about how uh they're going to repeat the same cycles because they're coming undone as we all know and they want to know what you're doing you know if you're keeping things to yourself and you're moving in silence they really want to know what your next move is so they may do something to come close to you. You know, they may seem, like I said, it's the holidays and they may try to use that as to win you back, but don't fall for it. You know, don't allow them to say that they want to do this last uh, family gathering as y'all are a family for this last one time before everything uh, ends. Don't fall for it because they're just grasping for straws and they really want to know your plan. See, uh, some narcissists have done things that are that's so bad to where uh, people are finding out about it. And now they don't know, they can't sleep at night. They don't know what to do and how to stop what's going to happen to them. So keep in mind that when a narcissist do something, it's only to benefit them. So if they seem like they're being nice to you, it's just to get news on how, what you're doing next, because they want to know. You know, they want to bring you close to them so they can figure out you and they can destroy it. So don't fall for it. You know, there's this saying, you keep uh, your enemies close. And that's what a narcissist live by, because keep in mind, you're leaving them now, so you're the enemy. They want to keep you close. They want to find out what's going on inside of your head. They want to know your next move. They want to know how they can uh, get any source of information from you so they can destroy you. So don't allow them to get in your head, your space. Don't tell them anything. Uh, keep it cool. You know, there's no need to argue with them if things get too bad while you're in the process of moving away from them you may have to leave right away you know so always keep yourself prepared keep some money around if you can have a place that you can go to and if everything else fell you can always go into a shelter so uh you just got to keep uh in mind that they're running out of time and they're really 
excuse me, treading on um, thin ice. And they need to know what you're up to. A narcissist does not like to be kept in the dark. So if they can get any information out of you, um, then they can know how to work, how to destroy you. But since we know that uh, all of this kindness that they may be showing because it's the holidays or whatever the case may be, is fake. It's not from the heart. Uh, it's just to save their ass. So you need to keep that in mind. Everything that they do that may look like it's helping you in a slight way, it's not. It's just to save their ass. And if they can find ex out exactly what you're doing, what you're up to, then they're going to use that against you and they're going to use that to destroy you. So keep that in mind. You don't want to um, give them any information. You don't want to fall prey to their fake kindness. Um, you don't want to have the memories of some of the good days you may have had with this person take over and let you put your guards down. In this case, when you're dealing with a narcissist of this caliber, you want to keep your guards up. You want to always be on alert. You want to know that uh, this person will literally push you out in front of a bus to save their own ass. So there's no kindness in their heart. They have turned away from God. They don't see uh, any hope. You know, it's like uh, if you don't see any hope, you end up losing. It, it, it's just like this. If a person is in a coma, uh, the family may ask, you know, when is this person coming up, coming out of the coma? And the doctor often say it's up to the person if they're strong enough, you know, if they have the will to get out of this, they can. But with a narcissist, they don't have any will, you know. All they know is how to destroy you, take from you, hurt you and uh, make you feel like nothing. They don't know how to fix themselves because they don't want to. You know, they, they have turned away from God. So keep that in mind when they're doing something that may seem nice. It's not real, so don't fall for it. You have uh, been with this person long enough to know you have discernment, your intuition is kicking in, and don't put it to the side, you know, don't say, well, no, this person would never do this. No, this person is not that way. He may, he or she may be this way, but they wouldn't do this to me. Yes, they will. When they have lost everything, when they have lost their biggest supply, which you were, they would do any and everything. And when they feel like they're being threatening of losing what they have, because narcissistic people are materialistic. And uh, when they feel like it's being threatening, they will do whatever it is to protect that. Believe that and understand that. If you know someone that's going through this, please share this video. If you're going through this, watch it as many times as you need to. Make sure you stay protected spiritually and physically. I will see you again tomorrow. Thank you for watching.